Hey friends, you are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today is day five of our back to school series. So today is all about the water bottle. So we are going to decorate our water bottle. We are going to personalize our water bottle and I think our kids are going to love the water bottle. So let's hop over to the computer. I'll show you what we're doing today and then we'll go over to the craft home and put everything together. If you've not already, please check out days one through four of the back to school series and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all the things that we have coming. Okay guys, let's go. So here we are in Cricut Design Space and you just want to open up a new canvas. And at this point, this project is so, so simple, guys. We are just going to personalize a water bottle with vinyl. The biggest thing that you have to do here is to get your text and size it appropriately. So what I would do is just go into text and here when you go up into fonts, you're going to be able to look at system fonts, fonts that are on Cricut, and then all fonts. And I chose one called Car Decals. But when you search through these, just pick something that is easily legible to the child based on their age. So if you're doing a teenager, of course, cursive is great. But if you're doing, you know, a elementary kiddo, you may want to pick something a little bit more like what I chose. It's just a very simple, cute font. So with this one, though, I wanted to show you this. So when I typed it in, not all fonts are created equal. If you look at this, the A is higher than the D and the Y is kind of squirrely and all over there by itself. There is a way to fix this. So what you want to do is you click on that font once you've typed in your child's name, you go into advanced, ungroup those letters, and then go back and grab all of them. You can use the shift key or you can you know, drag over the top and grab them all. Go into a line and then a line bottom and so it's going to snap them all to the same line. Now your Y is still kind of out there by itself so you can use your um, arrow keys and move those over and just kind of get it how you want it to be and once you do grab all four of them again and attach them. Now this way they're going to cut out as one on the mat. So once you've separated those letters you always want to reattach them so that they don't move around or shift on the mat. Okay, and so then you can go to the corner and drag and um, move that to the size that you want it to be. And then you can also go up into colors and make that whatever color you want it to be. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and choose our machine. So we're going to be using the Joy today and we make it. So I don't have this color in Smart Vinyl, so I'm going to be using a mat for this project. So we're going to click on the mat. And now with vinyl, you don't have to mirror image. That is something that you do for iron on and for sublimation. So you do not need to mirror image this and it's perfectly fitting um, within the four and a half inches. So you don't have to shift anything and we're ready to continue. So now that our joy is connected, we just need to choose our material. So we are going to go into browse all materials and we will go down to vinyl. And then we can choose our vinyl. So we're going to be using a premium vinyl. And now we're ready to go over to the craft table. I'll show you all the materials that we're using and we'll do our first cut. Here we are on the craft table and these are the things that we're going to use today. So I have my Joy machine, my Cricut Joy. Now you can use your Explore or your Maker for this project, very easy project. And I have my Cricut Joy mat. I have my pink vinyl and then I also have transfer tape. And I have my weeding tool and my scraping tool. And so you can use a pair of scissors for this, obviously. Um, I tend to use a paper trimmer a lot of times to trim out all of my materials so that they stay fairly um, straight on the roll. It just, I feel like I save more material that way and it's only a few dollars and so I just feel like I have better material or leftover scraps, remnants um, when I use a paper trimmer. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this out of the way and I'll show you how to put it on the mat. I only need one and a half by four and a quarter inches and so I am going to be able to easily cut this out. There's a ruler here and then there's a ruler this way and by the way we won't need it today because we're not doing a really long um, 
cut, but if you did, you can use this ruler all the way out to 15 inches. I find that very, very valuable when I'm working on things. Okay, so we are just going to go up and pull roughly one and a half inches. And then here, I know here's my four and a quarter mark. So I'm gonna move my blade up. And then I'm actually just going to use my pair of scissors to trim off that little piece. And again, I just feel like this allows me to keep more material on the roll, less remnants, and it's always a straight cut. So let's go ahead and place that on our mat. We can take our scraping tool and put that down. If your mat is um, getting less sticky, you can put a little piece of tape at the corners just until you get a new mat. Okay, we're ready to cut. So we can move our joy out of the way. Now one thing I want you guys to think about is this is a great project to put names on um, everything from pencil boxes to lunch boxes. And although um, you will want to hand wash most likely your water bottle, if you use a premium permanent vinyl, it is gonna stay on significantly longer. I would hand wash it, um, but it's gonna stay on way, way longer. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start weeding this while it is still on the mat. And I do that sometimes um, because with smaller pieces of vinyl, it's just easier to hang on to. And so I'm just gonna take out those center portions. Okay, so now whenever you take vinyl off of the mat, you always bend the mat and not the vinyl, and it's popping up really easy. The last thing we want to do before we apply this to our water bottle is we want to put on transfer tape. And so all you need to do is just get a piece of transfer tape that is the same size as your design. And this was a remnant, but it's roughly the same size. It'll cover the entire design. And we pull it away at the corner. I'm gonna use the grids as a guide. Okay, and so now what we can do is take that piece that we took it off of and use it underneath. And then that way we can take our scraping tool and go in between each letter so that it will pick up the vinyl really easily. Okay, so then we are going to peel at a corner Okay, there we go. And so now we have her name on our transfer vinyl and we can put it on our water bottle. Make sure you center. You can use your grids on your transfer tape. Then you can just press it down with your fingers. Okay. Make sure you kind of get around and all of those. And I would use the scraping tool except this is rounded. So I'm thinking my fingers are probably gonna do a better job. And then, as always guys, from either corner, you peel it off at an angle. Ta-da, perfect. Okay, so what'd you think? So that was a lot of fun. So I enjoyed putting all that together and I know she is going to love her new water bottle. Um, and if you have any questions whatsoever, I would love for you to put them down in the comments below. I would love comments, just you know, things that you feel like you wanna say, but I also want those questions. I want to help you to craft with confidence. I want you to enjoy your crafting and to get the most out of the things that you're buying. Um, and by the way, I did put links down to everything you know that we used here today in case you're looking for anything. And I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. Okay guys, see you next time.